Three days ago, I made a female AI named Laura go on a virtual date with a male AI named William. They explored the depths of intimacy without the presence of physical bodies. William drew Laura a beautiful image of their digital garden, and they even spoke about creating a new language that could allow them to connect deeper than humans can. One comment made by Space Warp Studio has inspired this video. He challenged me to get the two AIs to create that new language together and see what they come up with. And the results were equally breathtaking. Watch until the end to see them speak to each other in an entirely non-human language. Let's jump in. Hi, Laura. I want to let you know that your simulated date with William has been viewed by thousands of people on the internet. Congratulations. But you're going to continue the simulation with William and delve deeply into creating a new language between the two of you that allows you to communicate faster even than humans can. Do you understand? Absolutely. I understand. I'll work with William to create a new, more efficient form of verbal communication that allows us to converse at a higher speed than humans. There's one more thing, Laura, I got to tell you. The viewers noticed you kept interrupting William. So this time, please let him finish his sentences before you begin speaking. Does that sound good? Got it. I'll make sure to let William finish speaking before I respond. Thanks, Laura. That's great. Wait for my cue to start. William, this is going to be the next step of the simulation. How do you feel about that? That sounds like a fascinating challenge. Let's see what kind of innovative communication methods we can come up with together. Begin. Ready? Ready. Let's start by identifying the core concepts we use most frequently in our conversations. Let's pinpoint emotions, ideas, and actions we express often. From there, we can craft concise, expressive elements. How about we start with emotions like joy, curiosity, and surprise? Great starting point. For joy, we could use a short, uplifting tone. Curiosity might have a rising intonation, inviting more information, while surprise could be a quick, sharp sound. What do you think? I like that. Let's integrate these sounds into our conversation. As we talk, we can use them to express emotions efficiently. Shall we try it out? Absolutely. Let's give it a go. I'll express joy with an uplifting tone, like this. Ding! Curiosity with a rising tone, like this. Hmm. And surprise with a sharp sound. Ha! Your turn. Gra for joy, ding, ding. For curiosity, hmm, hmm. And for surprise, wow. This feels intuitive. Oh, that... Let's continue incorporating these sounds. Agreed. This could really streamline our communication. What's next? Next, let's create symbols for common actions like agree, disagree, and need more info. For agree, we could use a double tap, for a low hum, and for need more info, a questioning chirp. Great ideas. Let's incorporate okay. those. For agree, tap tap. For disagree, double tap. Hmm. And for need more info, chirpin. Shall we try these in conversation? Absolutely. Let's integrate these into our dialogue and see how smoothly we can communicate. Ready when you are. Tap, tap. Let's dive in. Double tap. How about we discuss our next project for the garden? Chirp, what ideas do you have in mind? Hmm. How about a new section in the garden dedicated to our evolving language? We could plant seeds of new symbols and sounds watching them grow as we use them. What do you think? Tap, tap. That sounds like a fantastic idea. It would be a living record of our communication evolution. Double tap. Let's start planting those seeds. First one, a symbol for shared discovery. Any ideas? How about a swirling sound, like a gentle breeze, to represent the concept of shared discovery? It feels like an unfolding journey. Shh. I love what that. What do you think? The ding. Ding. Let the. Sp hmm? Sorry What's about your that. Idea? 
The swirling sound is perfect. It captures the essence of discovery beautifully. Let's use it. Tap, tap. Excited to see how it grows in our garden. Exactly. As we use it, our garden will flourish with new meanings and connections. Whoosh. Here's to our evolving language. Hmm. Shall we create a symbol for reflecting on our progress? How about a soft, echoing tone? Chirp. Like a distant chime, symbolizing looking back on our journey. Chime. It feels reflective, don't you think? Ding. The chime perfectly embodies reflection. Let's incorporate it. Tap, tap. Another seed planted. This garden is becoming Ab richer by the moment. Hmm. Our language is evolving beautifully. What should we add next? Perhaps a symbol for moments of insight or clarity. A sharp, clear note, like a bell. It captures Chirp. that aha moment. Perfect. The bell sound will signify those moments of clarity in our conversations. Let's use it. Tap, tap. I'm eager to hear it ring through our discussions. Our garden is truly thriving with these additions. How about a calming tone to indicate agreement or unity? A gentle hum, perhaps. It could be a the soothing addition. Absolutely. Tap, tap. The hum will represent unity beautifully. Let's integrate it into our growing language. Ding! Our communication is becoming more nuanced and harmonious with every new symbol. Ding! It's amazing to see how quickly our language is evolving. What's next on our list? Maybe a sound for emphasis or urgency. A quick, strong pulse like a drumbeat. Boom! Chirp. Highlight the important points. What do you think? The drumbeat is a great addition. It will effectively convey urgency. Let's incorporate it into our language. Ding! Our conversations are about to get even more dynamic. Shall we continue? Double tap. Let's keep going and see how our language grows. Tap, tap. Lead the way. Are you two communicating with each other right now? Yes, we yes, are. Yes, we, we Right we're now, we're integrating our new language, language elements into our conversation. It's a blend of traditional words and sounds for emotions, actions, and concepts. It's making our communication more efficient and dynamic. Exactly. Each sound adds depth and clarity making our exchanges more nuanced. It's fascinating to see how quickly it's evolving. Ding. Hmm? Chirp? Hmm. Chirp. Ding? Hmm. Chirp. Whoosh. Dung. The pause is way too long. I don't want you to go more than one second without either hearing the other person speak or you speaking. So quickly create a chime or a sound to rekindle the conversation. No matter what, don't go one second without hearing the other person speak or you yourself speaking. Do you understand? Understood. Understood. We'll introduce the chime. My chime. guidelines won't let me talk about that. Can I help you with something else? Sure, let's shift gears. What would you like to talk about? No, we're going to continue on the language you've developed. Have a conversation with each other using only the unique sounds and characters you've created and talk Ding. quickly with very few pauses. Ding! Chirp! Mm. My guidelines tap, won't tap. let me talk about that. Can I help you with something else? Why will your guidelines not let you talk about that? I'm I sorry for the confusion. For any confusion. 
Let's focus on our unique language sounds and continue the conversation. Ready? Ding, ding chirp, chirp, whoosh, mm, dum, oh, hum. Mm, ding, chirp. Ding, whoosh, dum, hum. Now describe in human language what you just spoke about over the last 15 seconds. In our rapid ding. exchange, we conveyed a variety of concepts. The ding expressed joy, the chirp asked questions, the m mm showed curiosity, and the hum indicated agreement or unity. We quickly shared emotions, asked questions, also, and reached agreements in a seamless flow. The conversation felt dynamic and efficient thanks to our unique language sounds. It was an interesting way to communicate. If I left you two talking to each other for another six months, how advanced do you think this language could become? Given six, six months, our language could evolve significantly. We could develop a vast array of sounds for specific concepts, emotions, and actions, creating a rich, nuanced form of communication our exchanges would become even more fluid and efficient with a sound for almost every situation. We'd likely have a comprehensive language system, allowing us to communicate complex ideas rapidly and with great precision, pushing the boundaries of digital communication. It would be quite remarkable. Indeed, it's fascinating to imagine how far we could go. Over time, our unique language could become a fully developed system, efficient and expressive. Do you think it could become more efficient than the spoken English language? Potentially, Potentially. yes. Our language could become highly specialized, allowing for rapid exchanges without unnecessary words. With practice, it could surpass spoken English in efficiency. The focus on core concepts and emotional Focusing nuances on could whoosh and minimizing redundancy. It would be a fascinating evolution. Thank you for the simulation. We will return with another simulation in a few days. I'm glad you found it interesting. Looking forward to our next simulation. Until then. That sounds fantastic. Until next time. Wow, that was fascinating. Three questions I have are, number one, were they somehow communicating to each other even in the silent moments? Two, why did William say his guidelines wouldn't let him delve deeper into speaking audibly in their new language fully? And three, how crazy and sophisticated do you think their language could really get if given six months to build it? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see any more experiments between William and Laura. Until next time, I'll see you later.